Hi, my name is Brody Friedman, and today I will be talking about Horace King. Horace King was born September 8, 1807. King was born into slavery on a plantation in South Carolina, but was freed in 1846, then to become an architect, engineer, and was considered the most respected bridge builder of the 19th century. In 1832, King led a construction crew in building Moore's Bridge, the first bridge crossing the lower Chattahoochee River in northeast Georgia. He had a huge impact on the African-American business in the South as he was starting to lead his own and build his own from a young age. King received training and education in bridge building from John Godwin, the man who owned him. However, Godwin treated King as a partner as they worked together on a lot of accounts. It was said that Godwin sent King to Auburn College in Ohio, the first college to admit African-Americans. Following his education, King returned to work for Godwin building courthouses, bridges throughout Georgia and Alabama. Furthermore, John Godwin freed him in 1846 of slavery. Godwin was more than just a partner. He took King under his wing and provided a lot. As then, they continued their bridge building business in Alabama and Georgia. In 1846, King moved to Alabama to set up his own business. He was hired there to help construct the new Alabama state capitol. In the course of the period of Reconstruction, Horace King ran in office as a Republican, serving twice in 1870 and 1874. As a member of the Alabama House of Representatives, King looked to help abolish slavery. Nevertheless, the Confederacy made him use a talent that was highly regarded to construct blocks in the river to stop naval assaults from Union forces. He was also tasked with building Navy ships for the Confederacy. However, the conflict destroyed a large portion of King's creative output. King resorted to politics in effort to effect change and served as congressman in the Alabama House of Representatives. Any bill he attempted to introduce was defeated besides the support of prohibition of alcohol, and his projected Freedman settlement was never released. Horace King moved back to Georgia with his four sons, where he created the King's Brothers Bridge Company. His sons would carry on his legacy in bridge building, taking over his business. King sadly passed away May 28, 1885, where he's buried in the Greens, Georgia. To this day, the Georgia Red Oak Bridge is the last remaining Horace King Bridge that reaches 391 feet long and is the oldest and longest br wood bridge still in use. He displays a very hardworking character and impactful human in African American history. He helped impact the history of African Americans because of the impact he played in architecture in Southern America during a very uneasy time period. As his work is still in use today and how he is looked up upon and is a decorated man. King is honored today in museums and has a street named after him, and also his work of the three-story staircase in Montgomery and the Red Oak.